Hi there, sign up Scorpio. This is Kim here to do a reading for you guys. This reading is going to be a next 48 hour reading. So we're going to start off with some runes. These are our uh, rune flashcards. And then, um, well, we'll just take it from there. Let's see how, what kind of messages, you know, we're going to get. So for Scorpio, I think we're going to do a Celtic cross. That sounds like it would be good. Okay, here is your rune, letter M, Manas, uh, humanity, self, keyword belonging, society, intellect, individual, human nature, humankind. Um, it is about achieving personal growth, building healthy community, intellectual clarity, connecting to the higher self. Um <clears throat> It can be about, it says, individual members of the whole. It can be about social to family responsibility, awareness of oneself, human thought, and rationality. I have fulfillment, and respect, and find a new approach to with these little action cards here to the side. So that's just a side message. Respect, fulfillment, find a new approach. Okay, we'll pull some tea leaves after this Celtic cross. Celtic cross for Scorpio. If we have time, these readings have been going a little long lately because they've just been so hard to deal with. Energies, not hard to deal with necessarily, but um, it's to navigate these energies, I guess. That's what I'm saying. The messages for Scorpio. What's the issue? What's the issue? Making a decision or uh, moving past a stalemate or what what is perceived as some kind of block. Is the issue and, and I'll pull the rest of the cards before I read it I know I get it really ahead of myself but um oh good news challenge good news what about um heart of the matter the ten of pentacles in the reverse <clears throat> um past energy The Hermit. What's the crowning energy? What's the crowning energy? Mm, Knight of Wands. King of Wands in the bottom. Hmm. Okay. We'll clarify that. Future energy for Scorpio. Judgment. How Scorpio's feeling. Hmm. May feel conflicted. May feel like walking away. Getting away. Going to <laughs> anywhere. Be away from here. Somewhere. All right. In the environment, the world in reverse. What do we have for the hope or fear for Scorpio? Hope or fear. Hmm. It's the outcome for Scorpios. Well, that's good. Putting something in the past. Um, three swords reverse. Oh, <laughs> and the nine of nine of cups um getting everything you want getting everything you want and having your justice your truth your clarity being able to um there's something that this reading is talking about maybe this forgiveness is something that's allowing you to move on from the past um you get a wish granted. It might involve justice or justice, like, you know, department or a justice department. Or some kind of legality or like there's a wish granted there. Um, 
the hermit in the past energy is you finding you. You know, it's you doing you, but you finding you. And, um, well, it's lighting. It's kind of like lighting your own way. And it feels a little, um, at, well, at times the journey can be long. It can be daunting. It can be lonely. Um, but the hermit gets information. The hermit seeks for information about themselves. Not necessarily everyone else, but themselves more than likely. So uh, spending some time to yourself, maybe that was preferred. Um, because there was something about these established connections that just kind of like has to change, um, because there's, there's conflict because there's a, a, there's a uneasiness with the energy that's like, no, this has got to change. No, we can't be like that for, so maybe you we went into hermit mode because you just didn't want to deal with these, um, fighting type energies. Hmm. So these are things that, um, well, they involve people that you, maybe a Leo, I got strength again in the reverse, <clears throat> that you know. It involves people that you know. This is obviously something that's happened from the past. It's at the heart of the matter. So these connections, this wealth also, is, it's connected to like established family ties. Moving past it, it, I don't know, but I feel like the problems are the stalemate. Like, that is the block. Um, people not getting, along, not getting along together, but this is not something unusual. So, good news wants to come in. I almost feel like that page of wands here is looking at the knight of wands. Um, careful for mistakes or little things pay attention to details um especially when you get it coming out like that um let's clarify the 10 of pentacles in reverse so something's gone on for quite a while it could have been some kind of trial or something with justice it could have been something that was drug out uh, for a very long time you know but to give us more um clarification the 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. What's at the heart of the matter? Tell us more about the heart of the matter for Scorpio. Another Leo reference. Um, the sun, maybe Aquarius too, uh, with the five of swords. So look, we have the sun. We have this the sun shining. Um, it's it's making it very known that there's uh, an issue that needs to be addressed. There is a peaceful resolution that maybe it's just now being like, like the heart is being warmed up to deal with this situation. Maybe because something finally positive is showing up or lighting up, um, you know what I mean? Like a peaceful, a peaceful outcome. Maybe it's, it's starting to shine. <clears throat> All right. All right, the sun is um, growth, healing. Um, it can be the start of new things too. So I feel like this is gonna be really healing and it might be a new energy in one that was kind of stuck. Tell me about the two of swords, the decision. Or, yeah, well, the stalemate. Tell me about the stalemate. Um, you're going to move past it. If, if this situation, um, you got the hang one in reverse. So it's you've had enough time here, Virgo, Virgo, uh, with yourself. You've had, meaning you've had enough time to have a new perspective on um, weighing the, you know, the ups and downs on this and weighing the two sides. Opposing sides, definitely getting opposing sides in this reading for sure so what's the good news what's the good news how is that the good news so the good news is that somebody was either sneaky or lied cheat or stole um the good news is that, is that there were tactics used but no more waiting around Maybe somebody got caught doing something. I don't know. Maybe that's good news that there's going to be a peaceful resolution to some kind of deception. 
Tell us more because this is a little confusing, please, for Scorpio. Why the Seven of Swords? There's victory in what was brought to light. There's victory to be found, but also gives, um, the holes give away for the light to shine through. So the holes that, you know, in, in our problems, in our situations. And, um, and that's exactly what's happened. Because it's not the, the best thing. But whatever this deception is, is what you ultimately have to move past. Um, the scales are balanced. In the end, they get balanced. And you also get whatever it is that you really want. This could even be uh, some, you know, loving something and it loving you back. Like, that's, I mean, something else too. So, <clears throat> the light has been shown or on something like that. Um, how do you feel? Like I say, you could feel like you don't want to deal with conflict. You could feel like any time is a good time right now for a vacation, <laughs> um, getting away. You could feel like it is hard to cut ties from things that are really emotionally um, challenging, like hard to get away from. Uh, it's conflicting. It's all these feelings. Regarding, a per regarding the energy that you're feeling about leaving or the situation where somebody left. Tell me about the world in reverse. What needs to be completed? What needs to be completed? A situation where there was a third party or a group of friends that was like um, a not so great. Either it wasn't a great influence or... Um, or there was just something, maybe gossip or stabbing you in the back. There was something like that. These friends had to be um, cut out. Okay, so are they friends that come and go? Maybe. Can influence a mistake. Possibly it was just more of this person made a mistake because they were hanging around these people. Not blaming, but you know what I'm saying. Like, um, this can't be closed until it, it's final that this group does not come back and, and mess with you. <sighs> Heavy energies. This is really good. Uh, this, is, this is good, though. This is, this is like resolving something very difficult. Tell me about judgment. So the forgiveness is for the mainly for the healing of yourself, right? And for others too. But you can look at it as very healing energy for the self. If you are really thinking of getting away and you notice that like forgive but keep moving on. <clears throat> the the card for independence, entrepreneurship, and not to mention now you have two nines out here, which is another indication of um an ending, something that's coming to an end, something that's coming to fulfillment. It's bringing some kind of win for you. Some of you all, this is truly a court case and something got proved and then it's a win for you. Or something like that. Okay, so strength in reverse Sometimes I can look at that card, um, if it's the fear, hope or fear. If it's a fear, I feel like it would be overconfidence. So we don't want to be overconfident. But I, I just think that definitely some really good news is going to come in regarding your finances and independence and not really needing uh, anybody else. Because that seems to be like some kind of codependency issue on people that you bring in and out of your life and they're they're the ones that i feel like can cause um mistakes or or help influence a mistake so tell me more about strength in reverse <laughs> Ooh, okay so when the sun shone and it said hey this is what's going on this is what's um what's happening then you can't it's like we can't just pretend that everything is fine this is what we're doing, essentially, is um, saying, everything's fine, I'm fine, everything's fine. But you still have this uh, 
big sadness to lift off of your chest. This can be a third party situation too, especially since we got the three of cups in the reverse. Ugh, listen, look at these messages. See, they've all been like this. <laughs> They've all been not bad, like good. There's a lot of wins here. This is actually good news for you. Um, it's almost like, you know, being able to win somebody back that you don't want back. And, and some kind of like retaliation as far as like you're doing so good and, and how far you've come and what you're doing for yourself. So it could bring some jealousy or envy for sure. The, seeing how balanced you are. And, and how things seem to come easily to you might piss off this type of person, like that group. You know what I mean? Just because everything's not really fine with them. <sighs> okay. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups. I want to know more about how you're feeling and why you're wanting to leave <laughs> leave a situation because it feels like the eight of cups is going after where the grass is greener and Scorpio it feels like you've already made up your mind like your heart and your head have already decided um this is almost like something that was inevitable to split but just been postponing it um so the good news is having victory over lies lying cheating stealing deception having this victory Coming out on top is what the Six of Wands is to me. Coming out on top. Like you are in the mix here and you are in all of this fighting and arguing and deception. And you're the one that came out on top. You took. It's almost like you took the high road whew, when something really, really uh, was hurtful. Wow. Three, 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 three of swords. Hmm. Feeling really conflicted um, on whether or not this is what you want, I think. I'm wondering if this person's like a twin flame energy or somebody that comes in and out and, well, might be associated with something that's not the best. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Tell me more about that Sagittarius energy. Death card in reverse. This person is resistant to changing. Um, they have to go through their own transformation first. And this person's like, maybe they're just in the middle of it. But the energy crowning you is like something's in process of, of trying to close. Um... You shouldn't feel guilty. The Eight of Swords in reverse. You shouldn't feel guilty. You should move past uh, what has been restricting you and let go of the heartache or the the uh, reminder of the heartache also. Whew. Tell us about the Three of Swords since it's out here on the table. Tell us about the Three of Swords. That's coming to me of already knowing a situation is happening, already knowing, already knowing, pretending that everything's fine when the truth is to the light, no, everything's not fine. This is what you're looking for and this is what's going to come your way. As somebody that is um, stable, that can, has a lot to offer you or has something safe, like safe and secure to offer you. It might be a job offer. It might be, I mean, it doesn't always have to be romantic here, but somebody who's really dependable, it's, and, and that might be just the energy that you're embodying here is that being really dependable. So let's pull, since it's not the end of the, yay, go on too long. I can pull some Oracle cards for you. Yeah, let's pull something from um, Sacred Rebels Oracle for Scorpio. Sacred Rebels Oracle for Scorpio. The Sacred Fool. The Sacred Fool. So a new start. It's a fresh new start. And it is walking, you know, uh, putting the past hurt behind us. Diving for light means that where you're at is dark. And where you have to go to find light, it might get darker. But um, 
eventually you get you get past and you make it through. So the sacred fool. Oh, look at that. Personal riches, small successes are likely now and bigger ones are on the way. That's for sure. Um, finances could improve dramatically. It says, but avoid the get rich schemes. And your guardian angel. What's your guardian angel have to say? It has to say, if you're trying to ask for help, calling in a soulmate, do so and they will help call in this soulmate energy for you. Feels like it's something in separation at this time for some reason, for whatever reason. Um, 18, Angel of Inspiration. Call if you feel like you've got a creative bro uh, block. Call on your angels. And then 16, Angel of Health. Angel of Health. Spend some time um, paying attention to your health diet exercise. And of course, consult your own doctor. I am positive, 66. It says your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith the universe will provide for you while you're manifesting your inner desires. And know that you are appreciated. I am appreciated. That's what I've got for you, Scorpios. Any love and light, contact me through the description box. If you want a private reading, I have those available. And love and light. Bye-bye.